Hello Worm Farmers, this is Larry with the WileyWormFarms.com for our next video. We're gonna, uh, what we're going to do in here first of all, we're going to fluff these things up, kind of get them comfortable. I was in here about 11 days ago and I fed them pretty heavy. I, I intended to come back a little earlier, but as I was putting things up, my wife had... had uh, fixed the salad and had quite a bit of lettuce left over, so I, ch I chose to use that lettuce on the worm bed. So here we go. Here we're going to dig in. He's in here and kind of scrambling them up a little bit. Now you, you might be able to tell I had a, I put a quite a bit of coffee grounds in here. Here's some, here's some of the little worms. Some of them are some kind of little. I counted these things out the best uh, last time I was in here, the best I could, and I uh, figured out there was around 600 worms. I started out on January the 17th. I started out with uh, 150 worms, and on March the 8th, I believe it was, I put another 150 worms in here. And it looks like here's some of my feeding here from last time. Yeah, this is some of that. This is some of that uh, salad that I some worms and some salad that I left in here from last time. Some lettuce, rather, I should say. I put a, quite a bit of lettuce in here. I'm gonna put this over the side over here and uh, dig back into here and just kind of scramble. As you, it, again, as you can tell, Mr. Cameraman, if you can get a good shot there, a close-up shot. Uh, there's some more of that lettuce is still left over. Still got a little bit more lettuce left. I put a whole frozen banana in here last time, and it looks like they have just consumed that banana. So this is, uh, like I say, 11, I think 11 days old. Unfortunately, I do not have a cross-cut shredder for my bedding, so I just uh, shredded the best way I could. And here's some of my babies in here. Unfortunately, with my vision, there's some, there's some more of that lettuce, I think it is. With my vision, unfortunately, I am unable to see uh, the cocoons in here. I've tried, tried last time to see some of those cocoons, and I was un unable to see them. You can see a little bit of lettuce in here. I'm going to, I'm going to take this bedding, and I've, uh, I've kind of torn it apart as best I can. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix this in here with this. I got some more probably next time. I got some uh, cardboard, some toilet paper rolls that I've got. This, uh, I'm going to ground up and put in this little bit of the food left at sight. Put that over here. I'm going to kind of mix this bedding in here with it. But as I said, I put quite a bit of coffee grounds in here. I did a little demonstration, a little, little test. I didn't know if it would work or not. I took took 100 worms out and I put them in nothing but coffee grounds and uh, not not 100 worms excuse me 10 worms and put them in nothing but coffee grounds and I left it left them in the coffee grounds for I believe it was about three weeks right at three weeks and then I took the took them out and counted them and I didn't know I had any cocoons in there, but uh, I actually counted 16 worms. So in about three weeks, those 10 worms turned into about 16 worms. As uh, as I've been told, worms will reproduce about about every three months. They'll double in in however many you have. Like here's around 600, so this should double again in about about uh, three months so I'm looking forward to getting 1200 worms and when I get to that when I get to that amount I'm gonna start selling a little bit because I, I need to start making a little money on it but here we are we got those going I'm gonna make me some space here right in the middle I'm gonna put me some food I'm gonna put my feeding right in here with this I unfortunately don't have any uh, any lettuce today 
But what I do have, I have some bananas. I put a whole banana in here last time and they just they just gobbled that banana up. You know what, I think I'm going to go down the middle instead of this way. And put my, my feeding in here. Okay, here goes another one. That's frozen all the way, by the way. And I got a, a couple of uh, just some banana peels. A couple of halves of banana we'll put in here. Got a few banana peels. Again, this is frozen. I think I'll go ahead and tear this in two and make it a little bit easier for them babies to eat. I tell you, when I took that frozen stuff out of the refrigerator and took it out of the container it was in, it was very cold on my hands. I'm also going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to take some white bread and put in here and feed them some white bread. Uh, before, when I, when I went back in the second time and put that extra lettuce in that I don't have a video of, unfortunately, uh, I put a couple of pieces of white bread in here on top. And I'll tell you what, boy, they just they just tore that white bread up. They just said, love that bread. This is a piece of the end slice here. Put it in here and uh, get it all covered back up. Get her ready. Go again. Round, round three. I guess this is. This is a. Uh, this is actually my third recording, and we'll see how wild a worm farms do. By the way, if you will, don't forget to hit that like button, and also subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the better off it will be. Cover that bread up a little bit. I need to. Cover that up a little bit here. Here come my dog. My dog's got to check everything out. Some bread covered up in here with it. All right, I think I got everything covered up pretty good. But I got a, quite a bit of bedding. Another piece of bread I need to cover up here. And there's another. I got bread everywhere. Anyway, this is uh, this is uh, we're just about the end of today. I think I got everything covered up pretty well here. Again, they, this is uh, uh, just over 600 worms in here. I'm looking forward to getting my population up to 1,200 so I can start selling some then. Start making a little you know, cash for this. This is not really the reason I started this, but it's always good to do so. I spend a little money, so recoup what little bit of money. The good thing about it, if you want to get into worm raising, uh, you can you can do it really, really inexpensively. It doesn't cost much at all. You can buy a, a few worms, a few hundred worms for just, a, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks and get you started. And uh, this container here, this container here, let's see, that's about a foot and a quarter long and about, uh, let's see how wide this thing is. So I meant to measure it. Oh, that's probably about 10 inches wide, something like that. And I've got 600 worms in here. So I'm fixing to put my cover, a little towel back over it and cover them back up. And uh, there we go from there. And I will see you again. Oh, there's another piece of bread that needs to be covered up a little bit more. I will see you again in about uh, about a week. This is Friday, by the way. This is this. Let's see. This is May the fifth. <clears throat> Friday, May the fifth, and I plan to be back in here again, do another video next Friday, and see how this goes. Thank you. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you will, like and subscribe. Thank you. Again, this is Larry of Wiley Worm Farm, wileywormfarm.com, if you'd like to check out the rest of the videos. God bless you, and hope you the best, and a great weekend to you.